Well, we just got back from a big family shopping day in town. Ryan and I went for the sake of getting what was necessary for Middle Little's birthday gift because she's got two little bunnies coming home on Saturday. And the kids have been saving up their paychecks because remember they work for us in our business so that they could go shopping as well. So let's see what everybody bought while we were in town. Starting with Little Man. You know for a fact every single penny of his paycheck went to one thing and one thing only, more Lego sets. And he has wasted no time at all since getting home and already busted open one of the boxes. Let's see which set he's building right now. He is building the Batman construction figure, which he calls these the colossal figures because they're much larger than the mechs or the minifigs. He also spent his money and got the Wolverine one, Captain America, a couple Jurassic Park sets, and this Ninjago set. Now, like I said, Ryan and I's intention for going was to get the stuff for Middle Little's birthday because she turns 12 at the end of this month and her birthday present comes home on Saturday. So this was the main thing we were after was a hutch for the bunnies that are coming home. And yes, I know it's upside down, but that thing was heavy and we were just happy to drop it off right there where it was. And of course the bunnies need much more than just a home. So we got them some accessories as well to go along with her birthday present. She picked out matching bunny beds and technically they're ferret beds, but she's getting Holland lops. So they'll be small enough that they'll fit in there. Obviously a water bottle and a feeding dish. We got them some snacks and a litter box. Miss Lady Girl, what do you have to say about the fact that there's gonna be two new furry critters in the house soon? <laughs> and of course, bunny food and bedding and you know, the basic boring things as well. But we are happy to say that Middle Little is all oh, set up and ready for her birthday present to arrive on Saturday. Now let's see what the teenager bought for herself. Even though she is the cat lover of the house, she's decided that she wants to have her own aquarium. So she got a beginning fish aquarium. We did not get any fish for the aquarium yet though because with a new fish tank you want it to be set up and running for 24 to 48 hours and test the pH levels and all of that stuff before you start dropping fish in it. So we got this, we're going to get it set up and in a few days we'll go to the local pet store and start her fish collection. This is her Lego set that she picked out which is actually kind of cool because she already has her own personal collection of red electric guitars. And of course, no trip to town with the teenager or middle little is complete without a trip to books a million. Teenager picked these out to add to her personal library of books along with some more journals because she loves all things like old school style. And our last stop was Hobby Lobby, which ended up having 50% off wall decor. So let's go see what everyone picked out there. One thing to know about the teenager is that one of her favorite interests is interior design. So when we found 50% off at Hobby Lobby, you knew she was on target there. Here is her Hobby Lobby haul that she picked out and paid for for her room. Her favorite flower is white roses, so of course we had to get those. And then quite a few of wall hangings and then these cute iron pieces as well. That's all that this kiddo bought for herself. Let's see what Middle Little got. Middle Little is a lover of all things blue and floral. And so here's what she picked out and bought for herself from Hobby Lobby. She found blue roses, similar to sister's white roses. This little wall hanger. I love this iron piece right here. This one over here, I'm contemplating getting one for myself. And then this cute little blue flower right here. She also got her initials, but we're not gonna spell that all out on camera. Here is her Books A Million haul. She loves mystery, she also loves romance, and she definitely is the Harry Potter fan of the house, along with a couple journals. And this is her Lego set that she got for herself. Since Ryan and I spent the majority of our budget on Middle Little's birthday, I didn't get as much, but I did get a few things from Hobby Lobby and Books A Million. I also love all things blue and floral, so I got this cute wall hanger. I found this white iron wild bouquet and this cute wreath that I'll hang on one of the doors here somewhere or on a wall, I'm not sure. I've been looking for a journal for a while to put all of Puplum's recipes in, so I was really happy to find this one. And then I found a new series to start checking out as well. And now Middle Little's birthday is already bought. She's ready to bring home her two little bunnies on Saturday. And the kids have thoroughly spent up their paychecks, so I reckon it's about time for us to get back to work tomorrow and restock the shop. And it also looks like I've got a whole lot of reorganization and decorating to help the girls with upstairs soon. But overall, we had a really good day together, just hanging out together as a family and celebrating 21 years since the day that Ryan and I met.